Great. Let's create our first conversion code. Okay. Let's move on to our our campaign. Click on tools. Click on conversion. Click on plus conversion. Click on this website. We are going to track our website conversions. Select. Choose a name for this conversion. Inquiry form or purchase anything. In our case, sign up for. Sign up for digital marketing course. Okay, then value. So each time it happens, the conversion action has the same value. Choose this, and what is the amount that you will be getting it? Okay, I am not. So in my case, it is. 7500 INR. Okay, assume it's a different, it's an e commerce portal wherein you sell multiple products at different products. The value of this conversion action may vary. In this case, you will assign a default value, okay, and then you will ask your web developer to modify the coding setup to fetch the actual value of the sales that has happened and you will assign that value into this setup code into your adword setup code so that requests your web developers effort don't assign a value assume you are going to track only contact us page in that case, you will not be able to assign a value. The first one requires, it doesn't require any web developer support. Second one requires a web developer support. If you want to track a different product sales, um, the value differs for each product. In that case, you need a web developer support. Don't assign a value, you don't require a web developer support. Say done. In this case, I'm going to say each time it happens, 7500. Then choose how you would like to count your conversions. Every means if one ad click leads to three purchases, that will count as three. A person clicks on your ad, lands on your page, and purchases three products. Do you want to count this as three or one? Okay. Then, then you have conversion window. By default, it will be 30 days. You have various options to choose from. You have two conversion window. One is normal conversion window and the other one is view through conversion window. This is called click conversion. This is called view through conversion. What is a click conversion window? Assume your person clicks on your ad, lands on your page, but did not purchase or did not inquire. He visits your website within 30 days and converts. Do you want to track this conversion as AdWords conversion because this person doesn't know about your website before? Okay, he landed on your website using an AdWords click, and hence this conversion should be tracked as an AdWords conversion. So, how long do you want to track this specific person? 30 days, 60 days, 90 days? It's up to you. Okay, that's the conversion window. View through conversion window, this is applicable only to a display network platform wherein assume someone viewed your ad, opened a new tab and opened a new tab and opened your website and then converted. Okay, he viewed your ad and opened a new tab and typed your website name and converted. This is view through conversion. So again, for view through conversion, 
how many days you want to track the specific person okay then category is this a purchase or sale sign up or lead or view of a key page even you can track a specific page assume you are a blogger a writer if someone reads your blog for say more than two minutes that's a conversion for you okay in my case it is sign up then sign up for sale whatever include in conversions do you want to include this data in your conversion column yes now say save and continue once you say save and continue you will have your code ready if you come down this is the code this is a code you will set up where in your thank you page so ask your web developer to paste this code only in your thank you page do not paste it in each and every page if you paste it in each and every page in your website what happens when a person clicks on your ad, lands on any page, it will be tracked as conversion. So please make sure you paste this only in your thank you page. Then, then, okay. Once you paste, from there on, it will be tracked under conversion column. If you go to campaigns tab, so it will be tracked under this conversion column. 